This week on Fish Ed, John Thielen trips the triggers of tight-lipped midwinter walleye by fishing structural sweet spots with refined jigging cadences. I don't know that he's a giant, but uh, <laughs> he's feeling better as we go. I'll tell you what, this guy just come up off the bottom and he didn't, he didn't fly up. He just sauntered up. And you know, when you see that happen, it tells you that sometimes fish are just a little bit off. You know, if they come flying off the bottom, oh yeah, just nice eater walleye. Look at that. Perfect fish. I don't think we're going to keep him. We're going to get plenty of fish today, but great fish to start our day. But one of the things I'll tell you is when you get a fish like that, just come rolling up off the bottom, nice and slow like that, tends to tell me that they're in the neighborhood. They're maybe just a little bit off. And you know, at that point in time, you might make a couple changes, but one of the things I won't change is location. As long as I'm seeing those fish and I know they're here and I know they're moving every now and then, I'm going to stay put on them. But like that fish right there, what I what I actually did is I just slowed down my cadence a little bit. When I saw him come up, I actually just stopped this glow spoon, just held it there. I just let him rely 100% on his eyesight. And he just looked at it and all of a sudden it was just tick. I mean, he didn't come up and smash it this time. I mean, this time it was just tick. You could feel him grab on it and he was hanging on it. A lot of times when these, when these fish are just a hair off like that, one of the things you can do is just make those little changes in cadence. Just that, that little change here and there might trigger them to bite versus coming up, looking and going back down. And eventually, you know what? These fish will fire and they'll, they'll fire big time. But you know, you can get a few extra bites by just playing around with that cadence, changing things a little bit when they're off until they do get into that mode where they really fire up. <sighs> I'm gonna warm this glow stick up in this glow spoon and then we're gonna go right back down. One of the things you can do with these glow spoons that's, that's really cool is these light sticks that you put in the back, there's, there's no doubt about it that cold water dulls them. I mean, there's, there's no hiding from that. But the bottom line is this, all you gotta do to reactivate them and really glow that thing back up is to just warm it up. So all I do is I put that spoon in my hand just like this. <laughs> Just do that and all of a sudden that spoon's lit right back up. Drop back down there here and see if we can't find another one. There's there's plenty of fish in here. I mean, I've seen them, seen them start coming and going a little bit and that one we talked into biting. So, you know, this will this will be a deal where we'll get them going. There's, there's no doubt in my mind. right there. Just had to lift up a little bit above them again. Same thing as that first fish. Just had to get above them and keep coming up. And as long as I kept coming up a little bit, I mean, I'm not talking a lot there. That there was maybe a foot. Oh yeah, look at that one. That's a good fish. Yeah, come here, buddy. That's a great eye right there. Look at that. Man, I'll tell you, that's awesome. <laughs> that's tough to beat right there. That's just a good old fashioned awesome 16 inch eater fish. Eater walleye, awesome fish right there. You know, I want to talk a little bit about locations we're fishing because we're into that midwinter time frame now. We're in January. And you get into this January time frame, and I'll tell you what, they, everything changes a little bit. These fish, they've got a couple things that, that are changing. One is there's less light down there than there's been all year. There's been some, some pretty heavy snows that have come through, and now there's quite a bit of snow on the ice. It's pretty dark. And the other thing is, they're, they're working areas and spreading out a little bit more. Now, when we, when we had that first ice, you know, late fall first ice, those fish are usually a little bit shallower and they're a little bit more congregated on structure because they're pushing minnows. But as the winter wears on, just like in the summertime, these fish will spread out a little bit and that's what's happening. So what I'm doing now is I'm working closer to deep water. I'm working those areas 
out off a of structure or on the edge of structure that are close to deep water because they're going to go out and meander a little bit more now at this time of the year than what they were doing earlier. They're, you know, when they move, they might even move into a little bit deeper depth. Now, they might not move any further than they were moving early in the year. They might only move 100 yards to go rest, but what might be very different is they might move a lot when it comes to depth and moving down. So one of the things you want to do is make sure you put yourself in a position where you've got deep water nearby, your fish and structure, because I still believe in fish and structure if I can. No, don't get me wrong. There's fish in the basin. You can catch fish in the basin. There's a lot of places you can go fishing where all your fishing is basin. You're just waiting for schools to come by. I really like fish and structure if I can, and that's what I'm doing today. I'm just, I'm on a long point and I'm at the very end of it. I'm just fishing that area where I think they're gonna come up and feed, but the deep water's right over here, it's right over here, and it's right over there. A Little bit shallower stuff up here as we head toward that island over there, but the bottom line is they've got everything they need. They got a feeding shelf, they've got deep water, they can meander, they got a place to go rest, and they got a place to slide down deeper. got him. Ooh, that feels like a pretty good fish. Yep, that feels like a real good one. You know what? I saw this fish going up and down. Yeah, this is a really nice fish. Up and down, up and down, you know, and it, it, it took me a minute to decipher if it was one or two fish. Yeah, good eye. Look at that one. Awesome fish. Look at that. Just took me a minute to figure out, though, whether he was a, a single just a good single or, or some of these small ones because they're all mixed together and they'll all eat this glow spoon. I mean, it's just, it's one after another today. I mean, this is, this is just awesome. I, I think one of the biggest things too that I want to explain is how I work this spoon. You'll notice that there are times I'm working it really, really aggressively. It looks like I'm really bouncing it hard. And that's very deliberate because here's the thing, fish like that one right there, I want to grab his attention. And if I'm not seeing fish on the screen, I'm banging it around really hard for two reasons. One, there's a lot of flash down there because with that glow going on down there, there's a lot going on. I'm moving light. And if you're moving that glow around, you can grab their attention. But the other thing is, I'm grabbing their attention with these rattles. And if you can put a little bit of that down there, a little bit of noise, a little bit of flash, a little bit of glow, move it around, you can grab walleye's attention like that one right there get them into the neighborhood and make them bite. And I mean, that guy right there, he didn't even hesitate. He just, he came in, I watched him come up, thought, ah, oh, boy, there might be two of them there, but ended up it was just him and it was just a good one, you know, but, but we're putting the right combination down there for him, putting the right lure down there for him. And then we're working it the, you know, various different ways until we figure out what's right for him. And I, I think that's one of the keys is figuring out that exact cadence and, figuring out exactly what they want because we know they like the light. We know they like that glow. We know they like the noise. You know, we proved that out as we are concepting the lure. A lot of days it just comes down to finding the exact right color and finding the exact right cadence down there. And once you find that, you can do what we've done today. I mean, you can just sit and pick on fish. I mean, this has been great. It's just, it's just one after another. Walleye, saugers, doesn't matter. They're all hitting it. There's one. Oh, look at that. Oh boy, that feels like a pretty good fish, actually. Better get that out of there. This fish came in and he was just bigger on the screen. There was no doubt. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. I hope it's a walleye. You know, it could, it could be a big pout. We'll see. It feels good though. That's a big fish. Whatever it is, he's just got that little bit of thunk, thunk that almost scares you a little bit that he could be an eel pout. <laughs> you know? Oh, look at that. Look at that. He's just down here. Here we go. There he is. Look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at that. What an awesome walleye. <laughs> you know, I, I got to tell you, look, look at that. I just flipped back to that pink glow spoon. That is just killer. I'll tell you, since we brought this lure out last year, I have seen more big fish caught on it, but I gotta tell you, me personally, I've caught more big fish, fishing this glow spoon in the last year and a half, than, I mean, it's just crazy. 
these fish, walleyes like that one right there, they can find it. They can find it, they hear it, it just appeals to everything they, that, that appeals to them. I mean, I, it's just crazy. I mean, look at that. What an awesome big fish. That is just cool. And it's just been one after another for me with this Lindy Glow Spoon since we brought it out. And man, it'll do the same thing for you. I'll, I'll tell you, it's just an awesome lure. I watched it do it for people all winter last winter. And it's going to do it again this winter. So make sure you got some. What an awesome way to wrap up a day. That's a beautiful big walleye right there. Let's get this girl back in the water. That right there is just awesome. <laughs> okay, big girl. <laughs> That's awesome right there, man. One after another. Big walleyes. I I'm telling you, this close spoon is just phenomenal. It's just been one after another. Big fish, big walleyes, big crappies, big pike. Not only have I caught them, I've seen other people doing them. Make sure you got some of these close spoons this year. Don't miss out on that. That's too much fun. <laughs>